All right, so now we're going to talk about some error processing. And so, um, so far, we've kind of been getting along with assuming that everything is going to work just great. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get our code to be able to sort of control things when things go wrong. So what I thought I'd try to do is do one of the more common errors, which is when you try to open a file that's not there. So we just talked about files and uh, in quite a few of the other videos. So now we're gonna talk about trying to open a file that's not there. So because we're kind of dealing with uh, operating system stuff, uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do this right at the console at this point. I'm gonna teach my environment how to deal with operating stuff by importing the operating systems module. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to change the directory because if I don't change my directory, what's gonna happen is this guy's gonna to wanna to go and look inside. Oh, that's interesting. It's actually by default looking in the right spot, but that's not where I want it to be anyway. I wanna make sure that it's looking in the, right, in the right place. So how do you do that? Well, what you do is you make sure you get your directory, um, get the text for it. You're gonna go copy that text. And actually, I was dumb. I shouldn't have caught. Well, whatever. I'm going to go ahead and use the operating system module, the change directory method, and I'm going to paste that in. And what this is going to do is it's going to, uh, oh, it's supposed to get that thing to point to the right spot. Now, I wonder what's going on there. Oh, I bet you I got a copy paste thing going on. I don't know. Let's go ahead, you know, not too far into the video. Maybe I could just say, forget it and try something. No, you're still gonna do that. Ugh. Okay, so notice it's saying Unicode, blah, blah, blah. Oh, geez, Louise. What did we learn a few videos ago? These slashes here, kind of like the slash N, it's looking to do, like the slash N would do a new line, slash T would do a tab. The slash D's, it has no idea what to do. So um, what I need to do is I need to basically double slash them. So let's go CHDIR, open quote, paste, uh, close quote, sure, but go back in here and put two slashes in. This is only if you're in a Windows type operating system. But you know, I'm not gonna bother talking about that. I'm just gonna do that and then hit the enter button. And now basically it knows what that current directory is. Now what's really cool, if uh, you guys remember, there is actually a method out there that'll list files that are actually there. So I can, um, uh, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a, a, a variable called file list, which is gonna be assigned the operating system module, the list dir method. And if you notice now, uh, something seemed to happen, maybe nothing happened, I don't know. Let's see what's in file list. And it's in fact a list of all the stuff that's sitting in that file. Pretty cool. All right, so now let's imagine we're gonna go ahead and open open a file. So to open a file, if you guys remember to open a file, uh, we would go uh, create a variable. I like to indicate, um, uh, I call them file handles. You don't have to call them that. This is basically the pointers pointing to a file. I'm going to go input file handle is assigned, and I'm going to go open. And that's open something that's already there, like like the nouns, like the nouns. So I'm going to go nouns dot txt. It's got no problem. Input uh, file handle close. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, close. Now I'll close it. Now let's imagine if I input file handle equals open, and let's just say I didn't know it was plural. I'm going to go noun.txt. And notice I didn't say this, but by default it's going to open in uh, read mode. Um, and so trying to read, open a file in read mode that's not there creates an error. It creates an error. And so uh, it's a, actually a pretty good error. Good, uh, good in that it's uh, described properly. File not found. It's a file not found error. All right, that's awesome. What are we going to do then? Uh, what if we, instead of wanting to get the, the red, we want to basically create a quick program that um, if it can't find the file, will tell the user in a nice way, not just vomit a bunch of red text at me, it'll tell the user in a nice way that the file's just basically not there. So to do that, 
I think it's time that we leave uh, leave this world and go uh, and create a curriculum program. So I'm going to create a, a program, and I'm going to grab the bits that I like. So this program is going to know how to deal with operating stuff. Uh, the program is going to know how to change the directory, but change the directory the right way. Uh, the program is going to not bother listing. We don't care about that. The program, uh, I'm going to do it first with this open. You know, good good deal, by the way, to always sort of do the uh, the stuff that works first. Just test this out, copy, uh, paste. You know, why not? Let's uh, let's get something to the screen here. Let's go. Um, uh, the string of nouns is assigned the i uh, input file handle dot read. It's going to read the entire file into there, and then we're going to print just because why not? Okay. So let's get that thing going. Uh, let's run it. It's going to say, hey, you got to save it. I'm going to say, sure. Why don't you save it? And I'm just going to say demo for this one, demo. And uh, and it didn't work. It didn't work because that's not defined. Oh, great. Of course, that is. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what happened there. What did I just all of a sudden forget about parentheses? I don't know. All right, that's fine. Let's go ahead and run it again. Run. Go and there it is. It printed off the contents of nouns. Nouns looks like that. All right. So good deal. So that's what it's going to look like when it works. Let's uh, throw this out, by the way, and let's go back and just take my program. And what happens now if we go and say now? We go run, run. And so now what we're seeing is there's the error. And we're going to try and trap that error. Now, um, rather than uh, do I want to keep it hard coded? No, I can't. I can't stand this. I don't like the hard coding part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically say that the string file name is assigned, and I'm going to use our friendly input, the input function. I'm going to say what is the name of the file you want open. Space boom boom. All right. So then this guy. Is going to go into there because remember inputs return a uh, string. Let's run it now. I'm going to go run, go. I'm going to put in the right one, nouns.txt. Awesome. I'm going to run it again. I'm going to put in something that doesn't work, like meh, and it basically blows up. All right, good deal. So let's go ahead now and deal with the actual. We've seen an error. Let's see if we can try to. What I would have said is trap the error. Okay, so let's go ahead and trap the error. So the way to do this, uh, especially if you look at the book, but obviously you can go ahead and, and Google and find some wonderful videos on this as well. But here's the easiest uh, thing here: is rather than assuming this is going to work, we're going to try. Can you try to open the file? Can you try to just try to open it? All right, and it's going to try to open it. And actually, all this stuff can probably go in. So let's let's do that. Actually, no, 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 forget that. We're going to try to open it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, uh, if you're successful in opening it, I'm going to have a nice little Boolean here, which is going to be basically say successful read, which is going to be assigned true. All right, and then. I'm going to go accept. So it's going to say accept and accept what? Well, the error you saw was file not found error. If you find that error, then let's tell somebody about it. Let's go print str file name uh, not found. Cool beans. And the other thing I'm going to do here is. Um, uh, I'm going to go successful read is assigned false. All right, so down now in here, I'm going to say if if we have a successful successful read, so if it's successful, remember now by de that that basically is the same as doing this, but we're not going to do that. We're going to just do that. So if successful read, so if it's a C equal to true. Go ahead, do the read. Go ahead, do the print. Go ahead and do this. 
all right, do the close, right? There's no reason to close a file that couldn't open. So we'll just have it if it's a successful read. Let's go run and we're going to go go. And we're going to put in the one that works, nouns.txt, and it worked. Awesome. Let's go ahead and put in the one that doesn't work. Run. We're going to go in. And this time, in not found. That basically is exception handling in, in a nutshell. Now, I'll tell you there's one other thing you could do uh, with exception. Well, there's quite a few, by the way. There's quite a few things you could do, like... Um, if you know the name of the error, you can trap it, right? With any of these, you can say accept that, and you can have another thing for accept value error or whatever. But let me show you what would happen if you, uh, let's imagine that we want to basically make sure that the file, um, uh, we basically want to cause an error. I guess what I'm going to show you is I'm going to basically show you causing that. So I'm going to say if the string file name is equal to nouns.txt. So if it's equal to nouns.txt. Now I can just go print if you want, like don't pick. I could do that, right? This would be fine if I just go run and it's going to print to the screen. So let's go nouns.txt. And right there, there, there's my don't pick nouns. But what if I want something a little bit more severe? Well, what I could do is I could uh, say, do a print, but then I can also create an error. And what happens, you don't so much create an error, but you raise them. I'm going to raise a value error. Notice how it became um, became purple. So I'm going to raise a value, val <laughs> a value error where I'm going to basically say something to the effect of this through file name is, uh, actually I'm going to use concatenate here, is bad. Okay. So let's run it. And I'm going to go nouns.txt and look at what just happened there. For, oh, I, that was actually pretty bad. Oh, I see. No, that's a good point. What's happening is this is the line that's blowing up, and then that blowing up is causing that line to happen. So that, that's the actual error message right there. So this is an example of me trying to catch an error and, uh, and, and pr uh, process it in my own way. This is an example of me causing an error. And both those things sometimes you will feel the need to do, and I'll try to demonstrate some of those in the next video.